Hello people of YouTube and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will show you how to easily prepare a classic appetizer recipe. Velvety broccoli soup. Smooth and creamy, this vegetable soup is enriched with milk for an even more flavorful result. The perfect starter for your next dinner party. And let's begin! Everybody loves broccoli soup, right? And I love also broccoli soup. But the most cases with broccoli soup is actually a very full of calorie meal. Today we will switch this mindset and we will make actually a healthy broccoli soup. Now, to start our broccoli soup, we need some greens. The greens that I will use is a leek. I want a leek and some celery. So I will chop, chop everything. And leek and celery is ready. We are going into the pot along with the onion and the garlic. Onion and garlic. And of course, we need some extra virgin. Okay? Extra virgin goes in. We need some seasoning, salt and pepper and mixy mixy. Oh la la! We need this caramelization of the veggies. And of course, if you don't have celery, leek and onion, you can carry on the recipe only with broccoli, okay? But if you add more veggies, they will add more kick to the flavor of the broccoli soup. Just know it. Now, I have two broccolis here and I want to show you how you can prepare the broccolis. We are making a soup, so we're cutting the florets here. And we keep the stem on the side. And the stems. Now it's a big of an issue because actually they are quite tasty, but the out layer of the broccoli, this one, it's quite rough, quite hard, and even if you boil it for 10 hours, it will still be rough. So take it out, the skin of the stem, and in the middle, there is a very nice, lovely broccoli stem that even you can eat it raw. It's like a cucumber. Now, I will put that here, and I will carry on with the next one. And as you can see, the hard part is off. Only the good part is in. And it's time to add the broccoli. How I will add the broccoli? I will cut it. I'm making a soup, a velute soup, so I don't have to keep the florets for my soup. I will just chop it as it is. And I will carry on with the rest. And the broccoli is in. The most of the time when I'm making a broccoli soup, I'm adding the broccoli when my soup is out of the heat. So I'm boiling the water and when it's ready, I'm taking out my soup, throwing in my broccoli, leave it there for five minutes and then I'm blix it to keep the green color. But in this case, I want to take the flavor of roasted broccoli. That's why I'm sauteing it because I will add milk inside my recipe. I will deglaze with some wine. I will add some dried tarragon, water, and the key ingredient is milk, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever tried broccoli soup with milk? No. If you try it, you will say, what the hell? I didn't see that coming. Instead of adding butter and cream to the very end, I'm just adding some milk. I will take this milky flavor, this buttery flavor, without adding excess oil. So that's very important. And from the moment that you see that the mixer is boiling, you're covering the pot, you lower the heat, and you're simmering for about 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, we are ready to serve, but before we have to blix our soup. After 15 minutes, my soup is ready. I will turn off my heat and to the very end I like to add some extra boost of extra virgin Greek olive oil. So a little bit olive oil to take this lovely flavor of fresh olive oil. And it's time to zoom zoom. 
with my black side here. And my soup is ready. Now, at this point, if you see that your soup is very thick, you just add a little bit of hot water in it and carry on blixing because many times the heat is too high and probably the water evaporates. So by adding a little bit of water, and again, you are checking. What do you think, uh, Michalis? It needs a little bit more water. You're right. Because don't forget, a soup is a soup. It's not a puree. So it has to be thin and nice to swallow it easy. So a little bit more water, yes. And now, Michalis, I think it's perfect, right? And. The other thing we have to do now is to check the seasoning. We added more water, so probably it will need more salt and pepper, but let's see. Actually, it's nice. So, let's serve. Lovely. With two broccoli and some veggies, we have this lovely dish. I'm very happy with this soup, even for a main course, because I will make it more sexy. How? By adding some lovely tricks to the very end. Some chili flakes give some boost, some limes, because I want the people to squeeze a little bit of lime and to make it more complete, some lovely croutons. Lovely. Extra virgin. And this is perfection. This is exactly how a broccoli soup should look like. Comment, share, push that button, follow on social media, and of course, visit my website, axpetrizix.com, number one cooking website in Greece. One day we will be worldwide number one, but one day, not yet. So I need your help. See you next time, bye bye, yasas.